Hello, my name is Mike Panaki, and in this tech tip, we're going to look at how we can do a performance test from an ether scope located at our main office out to a client out at a remote office. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have that client at that remote office download the network performance test reflector software. So we'll have them go out to the netally.com website, go to support, go to downloads, and then select the Etherscope NXG as the tool where we want to download software. If we scroll down to the bottom of that list, we're going to see the NPT Reflector software. This is a little application that we can run on a Windows 7 or above computer that will reflect packets for the network performance test on the Etherscope NXG. So once we've downloaded it, we're going to run the install, get it installed, we'll open that application up. When we open it up, we're going to see that there are a number of interfaces in there. This shows each of the interfaces on the computer and the associated IP address. In this case, they're on the 10.0.14 network. So we're going to scroll down and find the 10.0.14.179 IP address. This is the IP address that we're going to use for our performance test. Now, one thing that's important to note is we can install this software on as many computers in our environment as we want. In fact, you could download it and put it on one of your network drives in your organization so they could just go out and grab it from there. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to VNC into my Etherscope back at the main office and we're going to start that test. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here and I'm going to click on auto test. I'm, I'm going to run an auto test. Now what this is going to do is it's going to connect the network port on the Etherscope NXG to my network. So I'll hit start right here. Now while this is running, I am remoted into the Etherscope using the management port on the side, the wired management port. This means I can remote in and control it and I can still turn that network port off and on, do things like change the VLAN tag. So in this case, we see that we're connecting up and we've got our green cable right there and we've got our green little chain link. That tells us that we are linked to the network. So the next thing I'll do is I'll come out to the home screen. I go to the performance test and we're going to build a performance test that's going to go from this etherscope through the wide area network out to that NPT reflector software. So I'll come up here and I will click on my little tool right there. I'll go to services. And I'm going to add a new service and we're going to call this service. Uh, in this case, I'm going to call it Zoom because I want to make sure that this link is going to be able to support the Zoom conferencing software. So now I put in the IP address. I'm going to put in the IP address that's shown on that NPT reflector software. So I'll put in 10.0.14.179. I'll hit OK. Now I'm using the keyboard on my PC because I'm using VNC to remote into the Etherscope. Now for endpoint type, we're going to leave it at reflector. This was another Etherscope. I would change that to peer. We'll say OK. We're going to go back. We've got that IP address set up. Uh, we're going to go into frame size. And in this case, I'm going to set that frame size to 1024. That's representative of about what we would see for the video conferencing. Uh, my bandwidth, right now it's set to 1 megabit per second. That's the minimum required uh, when we're using something like Zoom. And we could change that target rate to either a pre-set value or we could dra drag this up and we could put in a custom value if we wanted. So we're going to go back. And I'm going to set my thresholds. Now what I did is I went out to the Zoom web page. I looked up what the thresholds were. And in this case, the threshold was that we could have up to 2% packet loss. So I'm going to put 2% in there. I'll hit OK. My jitter, this is the variation in inner packet arrival time. In this case, our jitter is 40 milliseconds per Zoom. 
and our round trip latency is 150 milliseconds. So I'm going to put in a value of 150. I'm going to hit OK. I'll hit OK. So we'll go back. Now there's other values we could set in here, but for today, these are the thresholds that we're going to put in. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back one more and one more and we're going to hit start. So what this is going to do is this is going to go out and it's going to run this test. So it's communicating between the Etherscope NXG and that NPT reflector software, sending the packets out and it's looking at what the latency packet loss and jitter is. So it's going to give us a reading back after 30 seconds. We're going to be able to see an initial reading of what that looks like. So it'll finish here in just a second and we will come up. Okay, so we see that our loss ratio right here was 0.11%. Our limit was 2%. So we could have lost 72 packets. We only lost four. So if we come, if we scroll up and we look at our latency, our threshold there was 150 and our peak latency here was 25 with our average latency of about 18. Then we look at our jitter. Our jitter is really not bad. We're looking at a jitter, an uh, average jitter of about 2.8 milliseconds. So now it has finished. And we could come back and we could scroll down here. And what we find is that it says right up here, success, this test passed. So unlike other tests where we run a throughput and we get a number, we, we really aren't sure if that met the requirements of the application. In this case, what we've done is we've gone in We've set those application parameters. We've run that test out to that remote user. So we know that that remote user is able to communicate over their WAN link at a speed, latency, and jitter that's acceptable for that particular application. So hopefully this helps you when it comes to going in and testing those remote clients to see if they have enough bandwidth to support the applications.